Welcome to another NCIXP C Systems edition of NCIX Tech Tips. Today we have more of a series of systems. This is the Rival series, and the tagline here is liquid cooled, overclockable, unrivaled. But the real question is if you are unrivaled, can you have a rival? And if you have no rival, can you be a rival? And if you arrive, then are you even there? Thoughts? So the main story here is that when it comes to playing games online, there's basically two types of gamers. There's those who play for fun and those who play for not fun, or uh, I guess also known as, as winning. Personally, I'm more of the fun type, which is why I normally lose. But not everyone is like that, and if you take gaming seriously and aim for the top of the leaderboards, then you will need a fairly serious rig in order to squeeze every last advantage out of your game. So the new Rival series has been created as the ultimate platform for serious gamers, combining the latest gaming class hardware with unlocked and overclockable liquid-cooled processors. It's all about the firepower. They're available with exterior paint schemes and internal lightings that you can customize so that you got something that stands out when you're, you know, at a LAN or competing at home by yourself, but like maybe with a webcam pointed at your system so people can see the intimidation factor. I mean, that's a real thing. That's why, you know, badminton rackets have like flashy paint jobs and all that. So it's like, you know, yeah, this guy's like serious. He has like a freaking shiny gold racket. There's, there are shiny gold rackets. They're awesome. Anyway, the point is when you are ready to be unrivaled, you are ready for a rival. So let's walk through what's good about the rival that's right here in front of me. So this one has a classy white on black color scheme that by the way, is included in the price with of course the option to customize both the exterior trim and the internal lighting colors to your liking. So that's the LED strips as well as the included fans. Next up, it uses only the latest gaming class hardware from the finest brand. So it's not about picking, you know, like a, a good brand but compromising on performance a little bit for reliability or picking the highest performance part but yeah, maybe two, three years down the road, who knows if it's still gonna be working. You wanna get the best of both worlds. Each of them is handcrafted by your dedicated technicians at NCIX and rigorously tested. Number three is rivals use unlocked processors and liquid cooling for both quiet operation and overclocking. So it's going to arrive at your door sort of one way. And then when it comes time, when it comes time to push it, you're gonna have a lot of different options depending on how involved you wanna get in overclocking and tuning your machine. So a lot of boards these days feature one button software options. A lot of them, well, pretty much anything in the rival class system is gonna have extensive options within the BIOS for tweaking, but it's what you make of it. The point of the rival is if, you get to the point where you're ready to take that leap and push the performance boundaries, you will be able to because the hardware is there. Liquid cooling and unlocked overclocking. Yeah. So as always, we're gonna start with a tour of the outside. We've got a fractal design Arc MIDI R2. It is of course custom painted for some pretty sexy looks here. So the front has a white grill instead of a black grill. You've also got two five and a quarter inch bays, one of which is populated by an optical drive, but of course it's NTX PC system. You can customize whatever you want. On the top, we've got a reset switch, a microphone jack, headphone jack, power switch, uh, activity LED for your drive, as well as a power LED built into that power switch. That's like space saving Scandinavian design right there. Two USB three ports and a five volt, seven volt and 12 volt built in fan speed controller. On the top, we've got another painted white grill. On the right hand side, not a whole lot of anything. On the bottom, some rubberized feet and ah yes. Now on the side, we can see the nice sized window. It's not a huge window, but what that does is it keeps any of the other, you know, junk that you wouldn't normally want to see, you know, your cable management to your drives and all that out of the way if you're looking for a more minimalistic look. And then you can also see, of course, the subtle glow lighting effects inside where it's not like in your face, like, wow, we made it as bright as we could on my eyes. It's just more about like having that, well, some subtlety to it. 
On the back, we can see that this model has an MSI motherboard that provides us with fairly extensive I.O. So we've got PS2 keyboard and mouse port, something I haven't seen in quite a while, both optical and coaxial digital audio. We've got six USB 2 ports, two USB 3 ports, gigabit LAN, 7.1 audio, and then, oh yes, all the display outputs provided by our GeForce GTX 780 graphics card. Oh yeah, I guess there's also a 120 millimeter cooling fan that has a radiator on it, but we're gonna have to open up the system to show you all them details. So we'll open this bad boy up where we find an Intel Core i7 40A20 quad core processor. The difference between the LGA 2011 platform, which is what this system's using, and the LGA 1150 platform is that even though that's still a quad core processor with hyper threading, you could move to a six core processor with this particular configuration, and it supports more PCI Express lanes and more RAM slots running in quad channels. So, speaking of quad channel RAM, there's 16 gigs of memory provided by four DIMMs running in quad channel. We've got an MSI X79A GD45. Plus and an MSI GeForce GTX 780 that I mentioned before. You gotta love that nice, fat, open air cooler. Now those do not always give you an advantage, but when you have a case that has ample airflow, you can get much better GPU temperatures by using an open air design versus a rear exhaust design. So that's definitely the route I would have gone with this particular system. The liquid cooling for the CPU is a Corsair H60. And then moving on to storage, we've got a 240 gig SSD and a two terabyte 7200 RPM hard drive. This is a very common configuration these days. So you can put your operating system and all of your key applications on the high speed SSD and then you can install larger games or your music and movies and all that kind of stuff onto the hard drive so that you don't have to worry about running out of space. The system uses a 750 watt fractal design power supply, Bit Phoenix Alchemy fans, and lighting. Well, that is to say, Spectre fans and Alchemy lighting. The point is, it's Bit Phoenix. And finally, the system comes with Windows 7 Home Premium installed, but you could pick whatever OS you wanted because that's how this works. So now at the beginning of the video, I said this was about the Rival series, not just a particular configuration. I mean, this config is $22.99, but there will be many Rival systems available and the configurations will actually evolve over time. But the main point is that the Rival series is about liquid cooling, unlocked processors, performance, customizability, and just generally being a balls to the walls beast. Now, normally at this point in a PC video, I would be telling you about the included like games and t-shirts and other extras that come with the system, but because it will change over time, I'm not gonna do that. What I will do is I'll tell you to go check out the landing page for this system linked in the video description so you can see what cool stuff it comes with at the time that you're buying it. Thank you for checking out this NCIX PC Systems edition of NCIX Tech Tips. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX.com.